Carl, what are you doing? We're playing Warhammer Commander today. Oh, I can't wait to see their costumes. It's going to be awesome. I just don't think that commander damage is relevant anymore. How else is my unique wall jump record? Wizards of the Coast made a bunch of really excited pre-constructed commander decks that are themed around four factions in the world of Warhammer 40,000. We have Tyranids, which are like, almost like the Zergs. They're an endless swarm of creatures which just devour the whole world. We have the Necrons and their god pharaohs who come back from eternal slumber and tombs after making pacts with gods. We've got the Space Marines who are the valiant protectors of the galaxy, but the galaxy mostly needs help protect them from the Space Marines, which is kind of the main point of the game. And then the Chaos Space Marines, who are technically supposed to be the evil Space Marines, but they're just kind of doing their thing and loving gallivanting, so... Oh, the world of Warhammer isn't so black and white. Anyways, I'm excited to see if all we know is really war. Okay, amigos, I know you're not as excited as I am about this, <laughs> but I would still like you to try your very best to pronounce your commanders and introduce them in turn. Now, I'm playing the Imperium, so I get Inquisitor Greyfax. She costs four mana, Esper and Colorless, and she's a human Inquisitor. Not only does she have Vigilance, but she has unquestionable wisdom, because other creatures I control get plus one, plus zero, and Vigilance. Not only the flavor does my Inquisitor also tap, tap another creature, and while that creature is being tapped so it can't attack or block, I investigate. All in all, very cool commander. So I, <laughs> I really don't want to mess up. I have a Baden. A badon? <laughs> Classic! A badon! The spoiler, here he comes! A badon? Today we're playing the commander deck A Badon the Despoiler. I kinda just want to play expensive spells and they cascade into, well, less but also expensive spells. So we play the commander, hit somebody, and then they give cascade to all of our cards, lots of damage to our opponent, everything has cascade. I play Zarek the Silent King. He's a Necron. Must be nice to have easy words. <laughs> Zarek is they are easy really word. easy. They are really easy. Zarek is a 3 4 flyer for 4. Whenever Zarek attacks, I get to mill 3. And then I can return an artifact creature or a vehicle. And the deck around Zarek tries to utilize that by having lots of graveyard synergies, reanimation effects, effects that activate out of my graveyard. So that's what I'll be trying to do in this game. I've got the Swarm Lord as my commander. He's a, uh, in the original magic terms, we'd call a teamer commander, six mana. He's a Tyranid? Tyranid? Tyranid. Tyranid. Watching Germans struggle to pronounce <laughs> English card names. And none of these words are English. Mm, true. In our battle of the factions we have here today, uh, I'm playing the only commander deck that doesn't have any black in it, so I'm clearly the good guy. Anyways, I'm representing the Tyranids today, and my deck is all about putting plus one, plus one counters on my creatures and getting rewarded for it. The Swarm Lord, who is my commander, draws me cards whenever creatures I control with plus one plus one counters die, and most of my creatures have a way of putting plus one plus one counters on themselves or on other creatures. No. So does everyone want to high roll? I would love to. I would love to high roll. Yeah. Whee! Four. Four. Six. I think going six. First. Mm. All right. Not bad. So good luck, everyone. And I'll good go luck. first. You go first. Going first in commander is such a cheat. Usually, sometimes you just think about it, it's like, ah, oh, but then I draw a card. Yeah, you draw a card and for your troubles anyways. It's yeah. insane. Three, four, five, six, seven. Talking about insane. That's my hand. My hand isn't very explosive, but I don't think that's needed to win in this kind of game. I can only play a three drop on turn three, even though I do have a bunch of other ramp in the deck. But Herald's Horn is quite good because it reduces the cost of all future turnits by one. Also, the Hive Tyrant will be able to set up super explosive future turns. My hand has lands and spells. It's usually what you keep when you play Commander, but also I can't wait to cast Malony at Galgar. Oh, just Space Marines in your hand makes you happy. Um, I heard that you don't look at the card quality in your hand, you just make sure you have lands in Commander and keep because the game goes long enough anyways. Mm. I don't know if this wise, but um, that's what I've been told and I'll follow that. I'll keep. Same. My starting hand is great because we have Dark Ritual and that can play into my commander on turn three means we can attack because nobody will have a defense and then cascade and build our board state even more and then we just ramp it into a victory. This should be quite easy. So looking at this opening hand, it looks really nice to me. I have lands, I have spells, I have my board wipe if things get like super dicey and I have the Tomb Fortress, a land that might reanimate something if a game goes long and I flood out of it. This looks like an ideal hand to me. Oh. 
You draw cards! I draw cards! Extra secret stuff that it, you it feels so stupid when you only play, like, non-commander games otherwise. Anyways, I'll play an Evolving Wild. I'll go crack it. That's a card you knew how to pronounce because it's already in magic. And also, it's easy words. I did. Yeah. I'll get a forest, but that one enters tapped. And then, that's my turn, Carl. All right, uh, I'll go ahead. I'll draw a beautiful Warhammer card. Uh, and then I'm gonna play Port Town, which is also a Warhammer card. Uh, and a magic card at the same time. It'll enter the battlefield tap, and the turn will be yours. Draw, I agree with four burning runes. Go ahead. I'll draw, and I'll play the famous Wayfarer's Bobble. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm off to a good start here. Wow, that's like the best mana acceleration you can have on it turn one. The best. There's nothing else. <laughs> there's, there's nothing else you could pay that for yeah. an artifact that costs one that... Great move. Thank you. I'll untap. So practice. <laughs> I'll take my draw. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about good mana fixing, I'll play a Temple of Epiphany. I'll scry. Oh yeah, Watsy loves putting temples in precons. That seems fine. And I, unfortunately, I don't have an overpowered one drop like Wait for a Bobble. <laughs> Go ahead, Carl. Okay, I'll untap. Yeah, it, it, she needs to get a way to find three black eventually. Yeah. True. I'll drop for my turn as well, and then I'll play another. I'll play tap, talking to Hollow. I'm not here for a fast game. All right, draw. We're here for a good game, right? I'll play an island and pass the turn. Uh, I'll draw. I'll just play a swamp, and I'll pass the turn to you. Hmm, two I've, swaps I've, up. That smells like a counter spell. There's a lot of interaction here. Yeah. <laughs> I will untap, I'll take my draw. Carl, how do you feel about taking two damage? Would that be <laughs> fine by you? Like, would you get mad? I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Dis disappointed is fine by me. I'll play an Atalan Jackal, which first up is the first time I've ever seen a motorcycle on a magic card. Secondly, not only does it have a motorcycle, <laughs> It's got trample haste, and whenever it's it's a skilled outrider, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, I may cast not far seek but rampant growth. I search for my library for basic, put it into play tap. Wow! What? Wait, what? Yep. I'm gonna attack Carl. Now I'm also a little mad. Uh, no, I'll, don't get mad. I <laughs> okay, have to. Okay, I'll stay disappointed. I'll take two. All right, trigger. I'll grab myself a mountain, which enters the battlefield tapped. Oh, so slow. And pass the turn. That outrider accomplishes two tasks. One, it's crazy strong. It rams Yaman, it hits me in the face. But two, it makes Yaman the target now, not me. So I'm, I'll take it. Can we just agree that we put play creatures to block this? Yes, absolutely. Okay, I think but that's why? A good start. I'll untap, I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna play a creature to block this. Uh, wise words still out. Yes. I will play a Bastion Protector, which is a 3-3. Ha ha ha, laughs in the face of your 2 Damn. Three. Petty casual. Um, and it has commander creatures that control, get plus two, plus two, and have indestructible. Mm -hmm. Not bad. It's because it's a protector, you see? It's your turn. All right, draw. So much reading. All right, that's future me's problem. Um, I will also play something to block, because I will play a dark ritual. Oh, and no. I will wow. play my oh, oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Now, playing my commander on turn three, obviously it's a really strong commander and it also snowballs a lot. It might make people really afraid of my void state and I think that's just a chance we have to take. If they want to spot remove my commander, that's also gonna set them back quite a while. So I think I'm gonna roll the chance to see a play it and we have a really good spell next turn if our commander survives. Or we better not take damage, otherwise top holds. Yeah, 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 you try to reflect. Go. He's casting it already. I, I, I love how Toffle is like trying to push blame on my three mana creature when he's just got That drams twice? If this dies, I have nothing. Mm. True. At the end of your turn, I will crack this way for his bubble and find myself a swamp. And it's a battlefield tapped. Perfect. Lovely. I think that is a good draw. I'm gonna play a one mana artifact. We, I think we talked about it. Gonna play a soul ring. That's all you do. Oh, oh this one's better though. That is that is a very that is a very nice soul ring. Wow, this really accelerated my plans greatly. This allows me to play my board wipe, and also, this board wipe will spare my creatures. It will spare my artifact creatures. So that should allow me to really make some head in this game and grab some advantage here. I'm gonna play a swan, and I'm gonna cast Zarek, the Silent King. Wow, the best commander ever. Who was so threatening? Let's do something. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll kill you. I, I think that achieved point. the opposite of what you wanted to. Yeah. Look, I just let's let's. I ha worked hard for this. Just saying. 
<laughs> like, I so don't get I. it. <laughs> but yours is like way scarier than mine. Is it my turn? Yes, yes. it's your turn. Go ahead. I'll untap. I'll take my draw. Carl. Oh no, no, no. Would you be willing, no, no. in the face of two commanders, would you be willing not to block? Don't. Don't. Don't do it, Carl. Why? Any of them can eat you. Y yes. I'm the only one with no commanders and you want to slap me in the but, face with a motorbike? Look, this is not about dealing two damage. This is about somehow <laughs> is advancing about the board breaking. so we can contend with this these is about commanders. about my feelings. Why don't you attack yourself? I would like to do that. I would it's against the rules. It's yeah. against the rules, indeed. I will start my actual turn after Carl's turning me down. Mm. Must feel nice to have five lands to tap. By playing a Fort Mountain, and then I'll cast a Herald's Horn. As Herald's Horn enters the battlefield, I choose a creature type, and creature spells of the chosen type cost one less to cast. Also, at the beginning of my upkeep, I check the top card of my library. If it's of the chosen type, I put it into my hand. Fun fact, that only works if you pronounce the creature type correctly. Mm, in that case, I'll <laughs> choose Turnid. Sorry? <laughs> I, that's a connection. <laughs> uh, and I'll follow it up with one of those. Uh, it's a pure strain gene stealer. It enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters on it. Uh, so it's a three three, and it's it's got Vanguard species. So whenever it attacks, I may remove a plus one plus one counter from it, and if I do, I get two rapid growth. Your whole deck is about rampant growth. Yeah, apparently. It's a lot of ramp. <laughs> yeah. If it weren't for those things, this would be scary. But. This is more scary. Yeah, this is much more you, scary. You really think this is more scary than this? He's got spikes on his back, Tolad. That, that makes a difference. Actual skulls. I don't know. I'm afraid if my opponent has like 10 mana turn 5. I'm afraid this of is an actual 5 mana on stage. turn 4. Yeah. Wait yeah. for it. Yeah. I'm afraid. Yeah, how am I going <laughs> to generate 5 mana next turn? Anyways, I'm excited for Carl's next turn. Oh, it's going to be a banger. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play a command tower, which is a great card in Commander. Um, and then I'll play Space Marine Devastator. Uh, you guys saw me in this outfit earlier. Not the same as a black time flat. So it's got squad two. I'm not activating it this time. Uh, it seems pretty good. If I cast it normally, when this creature enters the battlefield, create that many tokens that are copies of it. So I could get a bunch of three threes if I pay a two. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I paid six, I will choose not to because I will put a stop to the Yamen out of control situation. Excuse me? Because um, it has a grab cannon which goes Pew! and destroys your Herald's Horn because what it does is when the Space Marine Devastator enters the battlefield, I destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment. Okay, so you're trying to take my only source of joy from me instead of destroying this four mana commander that can come back. Uh, they're powerful enemies to make. Excuse me? And you walked me in the face with No, this is, this is the right, right thing to do. Oh, you're I, excused. I appreciate this. Yeah. You're welcome. See? Yeah. The, the Dark Lords That's are on my side. Um, and then, I'll pass the turn to Todd. <laughs> it's called tooting your horn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we untap with our commander. We have a clear attack for five damage. I think you're gonna love this one. I will start attacking, since I really don't want to trade, for reasons that happen later, I will attack Felicia for five. I'll take five damage. Um, this might seem a little bit unreasonable for all of you, but I want to start my four-parted apology oh God. by just saying, I'm sorry, I just really didn't oh, have no. a different... No, no. Oh, this is an no. act of treason, isn't it? So I, um, no, not an act of treason. I play, That's the good famous. part is, I will name the card and you have no idea what's happening yet, but I play Mandate of Abaddon. Oh no, not the Mandate of Abaddon. Uh, I, which first makes me a cascade, and then I tell you what happens, right? So I will put it here and just see what happens. I cascade before. Okay. All right. And it's on your land? No, no, no. I just didn't just want you to read it. The, yeah. He hides the text. The, the, the fun is going to happen after that. Oh, it's a talisman. That's very good. That's very good. All right. So, meta, uh, Mandate of the Bandit. I choose a creature, this one, and then every creature with less power dies. What? Oh. <laughs> That's pretty bad. It'd be pretty awkward if Abaddon mandated that he died, so yeah. it makes sense. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Okay. Bye! Uh, Again, I'm really sorry. That's unfortunate. But it needed to be done. Mm, of course. Right. This looks much cleaner and much better. It's your turn. It doesn't look much better to me. No. I'm gonna draw for turn. I'm going to start my turn by playing a flayed one. On, uh, when it enters the battlefield, I get a mill four. A mill three cards. And I mill a land and some other stuff for later. <laughs> it has lifelink. And when it enters the battlefield, I mill three cards. I'm going to play Tomb Fortress, tapped. 
It's a land texture black, but also it can help me reanimate cards in my graveyard. And then I will play a Night Sight. And when that artifact enters the battlefield, I create a Necron Warrior. And it's a vehicle? And it's a vehicle. It's a 3-1 flying... 3-1 flying vehicle. All right. It's true too. It's pretty nice. Pass it to you. I was kind of hoping that the black deck would do something against Toffold's Commander, because I really suck at dealing with Toffold's <laughs> yeah, aren't Commander. You, isn't your deck just full of removal? I would assume so, but not right now. You'll get there. I trust I trust in the Necron deck. My turn's pretty simple. I'm going to play a Winged Hive Tyrant after playing a Mountain, uh, which is a 4-4 Flying Haste Tyranid. tyranid. Um, and it's also granting flying and haste to each other creature I control with counters on it by its the will of the hive mind ability. And in good old fashion of the will of the hive mind, everyone vote for someone who I should attack with this. Carl, who is that you part vote of the for? rules? No, 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 it's, no, it's, it's, it's Yaman law. It's part of the Yaman law. Not me. I appreciate the Yaman law. I think it should yeah, be. Yeah, I, I said no, no. First. Yeah, Both I did. Everything right. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Hive Tyrant this turn sets up perfectly for Magus Luke Kane next turn to, you know, put a plus one, plus one counter, grant haste, tap for mana, cast spells. It's gonna be awesome. Sorry, both of them said <laughs> to attack Toffel, so uh, four damage. Jamin, I personally make you uh, at fault for this. Just saying. Why? Reasonable. It's their, their because fault. I'm not sure I can allow that, but you gave those people a choice, right? <laughs> those people? Those people. And you know those how those people. people. Well, for now, I'm gonna give Carl the choice of taking his turn. I will choose to take my turn. Thank you very much, Yaman. Carl, can you maybe kill that thing over there? I can't make any promises. I'll do my best. Okay, so there's only one clear decision here. I'm gonna play Plains that has a Lehman Russ on it. Um, I'm gonna tap five and play a... This is, could have been my commander, and that seems almost more fitting because this guy's big deal. I'm gonna play Martius Kalgar. He is a 3-5 double strike, a Stratis warrior. Uh, so he hits for six. Uh, Alf, and then he's also a master technician. <laughs> it's an insult and a first name. Um, whenever one or more tokens enter the battlefield under our control, I draw a card. Uh, and then he also is a chapter master, which means that if I pay six, I put two white Thratis warrior creature tokens with vigilance into play. They're two twos, and that will make me draw two cards. Carl, I'm kind of missing where this deals with Toffold's commander. He can not attack me with his commander. Ah. Oh. Donald's board is terrifying. Uh, but I have a martial coup in hand, so I can just kind of wipe the board and make a bunch of one ones. In the meantime, I just need to hit my land drops. I have this Marnius, so I'm not gonna play anything from my hand. I just want cards in my hand. I'm just gonna activate Marnius for end of turn, every turn, put some cards in hand, and then poof, wipe the board, get some one ones. This is still a real problem. It's just a lot of value. It is. I mean, look. May I, I have nothing more to say. <laughs> <laughs> look. Just look, look at what I'm gonna do. You already might not be a fan of what I'm doing now. <laughs> All of this might be a bit problematic because we're doing really strong stuff and we're kind of getting the number one enemy on the table, or actually we were because we should be. But I also don't really want to put the brakes on, so we're just gonna put out haymakers and hope it's gonna be enough for somebody. I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna do it, right? Oh no. Uh, Jamin, Hit I me. told you this is. Oh, it doesn't cascade. Well, wow, that's sad. Well. In uh, contrast to Jamin, who makes people choose randomly, I will actually let randomness decide what happens. I play a Chaos Defiler, which uh, we will see what happens later, and I will cascade. All right, let's see. Oh, that costs four. Um, uh, it's an Exalted Flamer. <laughs> I think this is just setting me up. Of Tizentis. <laughs> Tizentis. <laughs> Is it, is it a tish? I don't know. Tish. Yeah, bless you. Just teach? Tish. 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 Well, naturally, of course. It's the Chaos teach. Demons. It has Sorcerer's Inspiration. At the beginning of your upkeep, return an instant or sorcery card at random from your graveyard to your hand. I have, okay, two. Ooh. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery card, Exalted Flamer of Seeds <laughs> deals one damage to each opponent. All right, good. I'm and never going to destroy this permanent just because I want you to keep on having to pronounce it. <laughs> and then we uh, resolve the cast defiler. When it enters the battlefield, for each opponent, choose non land permanent that player controls, destroy one of them at random. And it's going to be this one, this one, and I assume 
Do you care about anything? No, the this one. So one, two, three, four, five, six? Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you excited? I Marley. already I already hate the outcome. <laughs> I mean, six! Oh. Unlucky. You're not here to make friends, Dalal. Well, well, we're playing Chaos, it's to, fitting. To be fair, that was the least favorite outcome. Just if that consolidates something. It really doesn't. Okay, I thought so. I you. wanted this. <laughs> All right, I think I think we need to do something about all of this. All of this, all of this, right? We need to take care of this. Except for my stuff. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know how they say. Sometimes sometimes you just sometimes bad things just happen to you. So this is the moment I should probably board wipe. Good thing is this board wipe will not kill this chaos defiler, which will allow me to keep my soul ring. So this is the ideal moment to do that. Oh no, I, no this sounds like something bad is going to happen to us. No, but their name is Death. And I'm going to destroy all non-artifact creatures. Huh, I have an artifact. Dolph has an artifact creature. Yes, and I don't want it to die. Because oh. it will blow up my soul ring when it dies. So I'm actually really happy that it avoids that. Oh, when it dies as well? Yes. Yeah. Wow. That thing is strong. Going to play a swamp. And then I'm going to crew the night scythe. And... Oof. Choose wisely. It's really hard to, it's really hard to choose that I'm going to attack Toffle. Mm. Nice. That's mm. the only correct choice. It is the only correct choice. How much are you boinking him in the face uh, three. for? Let's attack for three. I'll untap. Um, I'll take my draw. Now, you might have guessed that this haste thingy was setting me up for something this turn, so now my turn is kind of mighty unspectacular. You're welcome. You just cast your commander. <laughs> You're <laughs> proudly taking it as a compliment. <laughs> I'm gonna play a forest, and... Given my mana situation, I think I'm just gonna have to cast my commander for six. And since that's the first time I've cast him, he only enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters because I've cast him once so far. But if he dies, you draw a card. Exactly. Pretty neat. So if he gets exiled, you don't draw a card. Indeed. Mm. Oh, I, come I on. like that question. <laughs> that question is just music to me. Just, just asking. Yeah. You know? <laughs> And with that resolved, it's your turn, Carl. I'll untap, I'll draw for turn. Um, I had a lot of exciting stuff, but I, they, they're gone now. Uh, I'm gonna play this top Arcane Sanctum. I'll play my commander, because I need some kind of a blocker. And I'll pass it down to Bog. Unfortunately, Felicia's creatures are just not good, you know? That's rude. Wow, <laughs> rude. We're just gonna play a Hellbrood, which is <laughs> also very neatly pronounceable which is haste, and I can cast it from my graveyard by exhaling another creature from your graveyard in addition to paying this mana cost. And then we are gonna smack for 10 you. That is painful. I will remember that. All right, you don't get to block, so... That, that's a phrase from a video game. <laughs> you will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's like The Walking Dead or something. Your actions will have consequences. <laughs> well, that's future me's problem. And that's your turn. At the end of your turn, I'm going to cycle my bullet admirer. Oh, those are the actions that I will regret. <laughs> <laughs> you watch yourself. <laughs> I'm going to untap and draw a card. All right, so I'm going to play a swamp. And I'm going to cast Emotek. Emotek. Emotek, the yeah. Stormlord. And whenever one or more artifact cards leave my graveyard, I get to create two black Necron tokens. Why does everything that create two tokens? Wildly it creates powerful. a lot of tokens. One wouldn't be power creepy. Mm. Mm. <laughs> also, at beginning of combat on my turn, another target artifact creature I control gets plus two, plus two. Oh. And menace. And that, menace. And this menace. This is a lot for only four mana. Yeah, it's... I am kind of impressed by this. Wow. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned that like many things create two tokens, right? This was the perfect setup. Oh. <laughs> You're honestly very good at this. I'm going to play Royal Warden. And when that one enters the battlefield, it does great two tokens. Oh, wow. So it's a five mana, seven, six in like on multiple bodies with unearth? Yeah. What? Wait, what was the downside? Why downside? Royal Warden. It costs five mana. It could have cost four. <laughs> <laughs> well, it th has a downside, actually. They do ever tap. Oh, wow. How will you it's ever tragic. recover? It's, it's, I can't, I can't do anything about it. I think you have a vehicle you'd like to crew. Yes, and I think I also have a target to attack. <laughs> I'm going to crew the Night Scythe, mm -hmm. and then at the beginning of combat, the Night Scythe will also get plus two, plus two in menace, so this will be seven. It's only seven. Honestly, oh. it's not even that much. Yeah, I know, it's not as much as you get back. Whoa, those are wow. fighting words. 26. Yeah. Those fighting words will be great under Tombstone. 
<laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> Alright, I'll go into my turn. That's, that's actually my favorite part of magic. Going into my turn, yeah. can I, you, I get to do all the fun stuff. Yeah, my draws have been very good because they've been mostly lands and I was kind of struggling with those early. Um, you still need uh, you more gain life. I gain a life for this entering the battlefield. Ooh, yes. Tapped. I can take it slow. No need to be fast. I'm going to play Magus Luke Kane. Four mana, one one. It's a four mana, one one, oh, but that's she, it. it's, she's a spiritual leader. That's Wait, nice. the creature type? That's nice. No, it's not a creature type, it's her ability. At the beginning of combat on my turn, I put a plus one, plus one counter on any creature. Just any creature. Like mine, for example. Like yours, oh, for okay. example. Mm. And she also has a psychic stimulus. I can tap her to add two colorless mana to my mana pool. And when I next cast a spell uh, with X in its mana cost or activate an ability with X in its cost, uh, I copy that, and I may choose new targets. Wait, you copy the spell? Yeah, or the ability. So Indeed. Basically, That's pretty good. Two mana and then doubles. But does that mean if you play a creature with an X cost, you get two of that creature? Exactly, as a token. That is pretty impressive. Pretty neat. All right, so uh, with that out of the way, I'm going to head to combat, which is convenient because now her ability triggers. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on herself. So big. And then... We laughed at her when she was a 1-1. One, one. Now she's already <laughs> twice as big. Up. As we see Toffel and Felicia taking over the board. Attack. I think we had an agreement there, right? I'll, Are you sure you want to attack? I'll attack Carl. Wow. wow. Well, that was a surprise. <laughs> that was the... It's, if you're going to make a surprise, at least make it big and like, okay, I'll take... Se oh, seven. A surprise, sure, but a welcome one. That was the... Well, not for, not for me. I'll take seven. I go to 31. With, also seven commander? commander damage. Yeah, yeah. wow. Um, I'll also play a Hormagont Horde, <laughs> which is hilarious as a name. Uh, it's got Ravenous, which is an ability you will see all over this deck. Uh, it's It's got X in its casting cost, and it enters with X plus one plus one counters. And if X is five or more, draw a card when it enters. The, the last sentence in that ability just feels like they, they realized, oh, just big creatures weren't powerful <laughs> enough. Oh. Anyways, uh, it enters with two plus one plus one counters. And it's an endless swarm, so whenever a land enters the battlefield on my control, I may pay three and return Hormig and Horde from my graveyard to my hand. Wow, it's like a draw engine. <laughs> I mean, the, the mechanic is very appropriate because Tyranids are an endless swarm, so the fact that a Tyranid enters the battlefield and if there's enough, there's more, and then you can play it and yeah. they, they cycle into each other. I think it's very flavorful. All right, anyways, uh, now I've got a 3-3 three, three, and it's your turn. I like that. <laughs> And I have nice. some hurt feelings. I'm going to have to draw like this because a lot of my cards have Miracle. Like It would be pretty cool if this one did, yeah. uh, but it does not. I'm going to play a Swamp. I will attack Taralf for three. Yes. I, I told yeah. you I'd take care of Taralf. Well, I didn't tell did. you how quickly I would. You're um, doing a great job of that. Thank you. Uh, so Taralf goes not even mad about three it. with three dem commander damage from me. And then you guys are all mean. So none of you get creatures. I'm going to cast a Marshall no. Pooh. <laughs> you say we're all mean? Yeah, you just hit me for seven in the face. I'm young. <laughs> wow. I wish your creatures could survive just for that. <laughs> um, unfortunately, mine don't even. May I have a dice? There are, it's, this is very cool because they're all different kind of Imperial Guards. of Cadians, of uh, Death Corpse of Krieg. Very pretty. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. Uh, anyways, in the resolution of that martial coup, uh, three of my creatures died, which all had plus one, plus one counters on them. So I'm gonna draw one, two, three cards. And you have a trigger, we shouldn't forget. Right. Um, so either a token or this goes, or is it just creatures? And non land permanents. I feel like I don't care about that three one. So we're gonna take the soul ring. Ooh. And the soldier. And one of the soldiers, yeah. Okay, and now we else? roll. No. Now we else. roll. Yeah. So, right. odd is the soul ring. Let's, let's put you them on the chopping here, block. Yeah. Oh. Da, 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 da. Who's going? Odd, even. Woo! Yeah! Soul ring's gone. Soul ring's gone. Oh, oh. Unlucky. Bye -bye. Unlucky. The odds are etern eternally not in your favor. I would say that it's just karma because you attacked me so much. It seems like very mean karma. So, this looks somewhat bad. I'm hellbent now, I don't have any cards in my hand. But I still have the unearthed creatures in my graveyard. I still have the two fortresses in my battlefield that I can use to reanimate cards. I still can play my commander. So even though it looks like I'm low on resources, I'm actually still very much in this game. We're gonna play something I wish would have been better because you all dealt me so much damage. 
we play the great uncle one. Unclean? The <laughs> great uncle one? The great unclean one. Great friend of great uncle too. Wow, this is gross. Yeah, it's the Nurgle Lord. And he's called the great unclean one? He's proud of it. He has reverberating summons. At the beginning of your end step, each opponent loses two life. So that will just do. Wow. Yeah, and then for each opponent who has less life than you, I get a 1-3 demon creature. But unfortunately, that is just nobody. Hey, right, go ahead. All right, I'm going to untap and draw for turn. I'm going to cast the Hedron Archive. And then I'm going to use some more mana to unearth the Royal Warden. Mm. Oh, so we've that seen one. that one before. Yes, yeah. comes, comes right back. It's right back here. Gonna get two I, more. I remember the huge downside. They are <laughs> yeah, tapped. They're tapped. It's just so much slower now. Yeah, it is. But and he's untapped. Right? He's untapped. And he has haste, but he's not gonna attack because I need to deal some more damage so that we don't get in a situation where mm -hmm. your life total is the highest. You see, you're not making our situation better. Yeah, we don't want to. It's just always you and me. Here. Yes. You know, I'm helping their situation because you're scary. Mm -hmm. See, that's how you make friends. We should consolidate. Consolidate three damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh! And a 20. Yeah, you go down to 20. I feel like we got off at the wrong foot, and now we just cascade into something that is unnecessarily big. All right. And I'm going to pass a turn, and this will exile itself. That exiles turn. itself. Um, do you remember, everyone, how you made fun of me for my deck only being Farsi? Oh, no. My deck I'm... actually does something now. Let me start this. All right, first up, I'm going to cast Explore. That's seemingly close that to a Farsi. Yeah. Yes, but it's no Farsi. Come on. Um, next up. <laughs> this uh, is a very good Farseek impression. Too. I haven't played a land yet, but I'm first I'm gonna cast Cultivate to get myself a land. <laughs> yeah, I have a, I have a feeling <laughs> when this don't is worry, said, guys. Oh, don't worry, my deck is not just Farseek. <laughs> and then proceed to play every <laughs> card that is as close to Farseek as possible. So I'll get one forest into play and one island into my hand. So I'm gonna play an island because you gotta hit your land drop somehow. Uh, this is my first land for the turn. This triggers the Hormigant Horde, which I will return to my hand for three mana. And then for my second land drop off the Explorer, I'll play a Cinder Glide. And then to top it all off, the grand finale. It's, it's Farseek. It's Farseek. It is Farseek. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're in a cyclical hell where all cards are now Farseek. <laughs> oh no. Casting a bunch of Farseek's Rampant Growth and Cultivate uh, makes me seem really innocent. I don't have anything on the board, right? I'm not threatening, but it gives me access to so many more resources. So my future turns will be that much more potent. So for now, my goal is to seem like I'm very weak and innocent and not doing anything. The grand finale is another island. Go ahead. Wow, <laughs> yeah, that was... But uh, you are I'll... definitely the alpha to be at this table. You are the... Oh. That's a miracle. Oh no, it, it, is it a miracle? Is I, it a miracle? I will choose not to reveal anything. Um, that sounds like it's not a miracle. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know until I show you. So I drew a board wipe. And it's not a miracle, but I was thinking about it long and hard and now everyone thinks it's a miracle and I don't want to look dumb. Let's just play it cool and pretend it's a miracle. I'm going to play a planes. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, you guys were all so mean to me already. I'm going to... Yamin, yeah, I you have the highest life total. I'm what? just going to boink you for five. I play way too many Farseeks for my comfort. Wow. I mean, all things considered, this is very scary over there. Excuse me? Yeah, well, imagine what you can play this now that you This is fear-mongering. This is just... I would also it throw is, that in whenever someone does anything. It isn't called fear mongering well, if there's like 10 That's men what you do. This is <laughs> this is very scary. Seven power on the board. Actually, that is very scary. It's only four <laughs> power on the board. <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Yemen. Um, I'm going to pay five for a Thunderwolf Cavalry. Uh, it's an Asadis Warrior. It's a 4 4 with first strike. And whenever he deals damage to a player, I put a plus one plus one counter on each other creature I control, which is pretty cool with first strike. And I think that's my turn. Untap. Hope for land. I will attack the only player that gives me a 1 3, which happens to be Felicia. Um, yeah, I guess I take 4. And then. We play a seven mana Lord of Change because things need to change. Okay. And you know what needs to change? The Lords. It's a flying ward when enters the battlefield, draw three cards. 
that needs to change. <laughs> so it's a seven mana six six flyer that draws you three cards and ward three. That is so good. Ugh. Thank you. One, Ooh. two, three. Ooh. I feel like it's time for another board wipe. <laughs> and it really is. At the end of turn, everybody loses two life. Well, I say everybody, but naturally not me. And for my last trick, because of that, I will gain a 1-3 because Feely has less life. And to turn. All right, I'm going to untap. I'm still hellbent here, but I can, I can crack the archive for two more cards and maybe dig deeper, find some cards to restart this engine, try to get more card advantage going. I think I'm still in a good spot. I'm going to play a Swamp. I'm going to start this turn by cracking my Hedron Okay. to draw two cards. Were they two Swamps? Did you draw a Miracle card? Because <laughs> <laughs> no. I understand the feeling. <laughs> they were impressive. <laughs> wow. Shots. Wow, that's a good poker face. <laughs> it really isn't. They were, in fact, basic Swamps. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, pay six and I'm going to recast my commander. Oh wow, those Sorry. cards you drew must be... Very good, right? Yeah. Very good cards. Very good cards that are absolutely no swamps at all. They were swamps. I think I'm just going to pass the turn. All right, untap all my manas. No, all those manas. I'm untapping my lands because otherwise the YouTube comments are going to scold me for saying untapping my mana, which is not technically true. I'll play Cave of Temptation. Does it do anything special? Except um, for yeah, I can sacrifice it for four mana to put two plus one plus one counters on target creature, but I'm probably just gonna use it for mana. <laughs> like, let's be real. I haven't been casting these four seeks to sacrifice one of my lands for two counters. So what I'm gonna do is Something big's coming. two, four. Yeah, like three more four seeks. Six. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, unfortunately, my mana just doesn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. How? How could it not work out? <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm gonna for eight. I'm gonna cast my commander once again, the Swarm Lord. This time he enters with four plus one plus one counters, making him a nine nine. And then I'm gonna use three mana to cast uh, Garrison Starn, Kalermore, who's also a turn it. Uh, he's got Ward two. He's a three two and. He has three auto stubs. So whenever another source I control deals exactly one damage to a permanent or player, Gyrsorn here deals two damage to that permanent or player. Now, don't ask me how I'm gonna deal one damage with my 9-9. I'll figure that out later. Oh, is it precisely one damage? Precisely one damage. Aren't your Hormagons a X spell? They are. Um, which I'm gonna cast them for X. Fireball for one. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good. Yes. I'm gonna cast my Hormigan Horde for X equals one, making them a two-two. That's actually really smart. I don't yeah. really understood like X casting costs. Well, I love the man who takes about a decade to untap his very many lands to play X for one. Yeah. So I like to play though. Thank yeah. you. Wow, what do we do to make people cast it for real much? Let's put the ability mm -hmm. on it when you cast it for really much, you draw a card. I play it for 1-1 one, one and a 2-2, two, two, yeah. you know. That's what I'm about, Toffel. Yes. That's what I'm about. Exactly. And now I want to see what Carl's all about. I'm weirdly supportive of Carl taking his turns today. Like, I'm always yeah. like, ah, there you go, I Carl. Can't wait to see, you're doing great. Draw that land. <laughs> uh, I will, thank you. Guys, I, I'm at an impasse. I don't want to be mean to anyone. Don't be mean to me. Be mean to him. Yeah, be to mean me. to Toffel. Unfortunately, yeah. and it pains my heart to say this, Tahaf is the only person I'm incapable of being mean to right now. Oh, no. that is the best universe ever. Please <laughs> be mean to Felicia. I lied. No. Oh. no. Oh. I'm gonna play a Primaris Eliminator. It says so in the name. It eliminates. It's gonna cost five, two, three, four, five. And then when it enters the battlefield, I choose one. Two, two choices. I got a decision to make. Either I hyperfang round. <laughs> Uh, creatures target player controls get minus two, minus two until end of turn. I'm not going to choose that one. That one's Thank boring. You. Or I can use an executioner round. Da, da, da. I destroy target creature. Pow! I'm going to pay the three for the ward. But when I said pow, it was your Lord of Change. <laughs> but you didn't even need to land. What was the problem you had before? Oh, I, I didn't read the whole card. Um, it wasn't even the last sentence. So I would like to attack you with everything. You see? I know this is not how Commander works, run. but I'm ven it's vengeance for yeah. last game. Here. All right. Done. You take five. Yes. 
Okay, you go to 15. You see, now I have to t attack Felicia again. Don't put this on me. It's a vicious No, you cycle. put this on him. I'm not gonna put this on him. You attack me. <laughs> no, yeah, but he makes me. I'm just out here preparing for the next board wipe. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Let's play a saga. We play the Horus of Hearsight. Oh, damn. The no, Horus Heresy? Heresy? Todd, that's one of the most important parts of Warhammer lore, the Horus Heresy. For each opponent, gain control of up to one target non-legendary creature that player controls. So, yes, this will be this, this will be this. I'm so, are you still complaining about me casting the strikes equal to one? Yes! Why? Because I could have been bigger. No, it couldn't have been because I wanted to cast my legendary creatures. Um, if you take my Primaris Eliminator instead of my Thunder Wolf Cavalry, mm -hmm. I want to attack you. You got the turn. Uh, well, Carl, eat it. Wait, didn't we just make a pact? Yeah, that you don't attack me next turn. I think that was very one-sided, for sure. And, uh, and then, then end of turn, everybody loses, and unfortunately, I don't get anything out of this. And I will play a Path of Ancestry. What does it do? Uh, it comes to play tapped, and I add a color of the color of my commander, so it's basically command tower. And if I play a spell that shares a creature type with my commander, I square one. Oh, very good. Go ahead. I'll untap. <laughs> I'll draw for turn. I'll play a swarm. Uh, did, you probably just drew that. I drew that one right now. It's just... Off the top. Yeah, so lucky, so lucky, so lucky. Was well, this the first time we're gonna hear the Silent King attack? No, it's not, because he's silent! Hey! You'll run out of silence jokes uh, at some point. Uh, eventually. I will. I really don't want to have a lower don't, just than you. Don't. Hey, you played this card. If anything, this is kind of your fault. Wait, no, no, no. It is just... specifically his yeah, it is. Yeah. It is very His specific. actions have led to I was this. trying to not yeah. Here, take three. No. On the attack declaration, I will mill three cards. My will be done. And I will, oops, this is nice. I will get a Technomancer back to my hand. This Technomancer is really huge. Not just does it allow me to rebuild my board here and really start to get a good board state going, but also still have the Tomb Fortress. So once it dies, I can just reanimate it and do this whole thing again. This combined with the removal spell in my hand and the unearthed creatures in my graveyard might just start to give me proper advantage here. Ooh. What is it with the music names today? Yeah, I mean, I do love me some techno. Technoman. Um, Technomancer is a seven mana five one. When it enters the battlefield, I get to mill three cards and then return any number of artifact creature cards with total mana value six or less from my graveyard to the battlefield. To the battlefield. Oh. To the battlefield. Gonna get that to my hand. Gonna and then that. you take three. Fede, I don't like what you're doing. I do like what I'm doing. Mm. I guess ready for the true Berlin experience. Of the techno... Yeah, this is, it's uh, a yeah. technomancer. <laughs> okay. I'm going to cast technomancer. Yes. And when uh, he enters the, enters the battlefield, you mill I get to reanimate. Mill three. Yes, I've, I mill three. When he enters the battlefield, I mill three. Oh, nice. I'm going to return the Tomb Blade to the battlefield. Ooh. The Tomb Blade is a six mana, five four flyer, and whenever it deals damage to one of you, uh, you lose life equal to the number of creatures you have, unless you sacrifice a creature. All right, untap. And I'll hope for a board wipe. Oh, that, this would have been so funny. <laughs> if it was a it really wipe. would have been. All right, I've got a... Not me. Not me. Am I going to die? I mean, this I is so. this is like. <laughs> Why am I, I that was really the mean. to die? Because you might be very reckless. All right, I've got a deal to propose to the both of you. Yes, absolutely. I'm in. If both of you, for this turn cycle, do not do any harm specifically to me, I'm fine with the board wipe. I've expressed that sentiment multiple times. No harm directly to me, like no attacking, no killing my creatures. I'll take out Carl. Yeah, yeah I have you one, one word for you. Absolutely not. I have, I have one word for you. Actually, it's two. What if I wipe the board? <laughs> what, <laughs> what if I cast the board? <laughs> There's this thing I know you will like. What if I Okay, wipe. the word is board wipe. So, right? so many words. It's not agrammatical. Toffle, you don't agree to my deal? Absolutely not. In that case, you just saved Carl's life. Thank you. Shit. I mean, yes, we saved your life. <laughs> <laughs> you jumped on the fifth bump boat too late. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap all my lands, almost all my lands, including me. Is this all your mana? No, it's not all my mana. Uh, I'll cast a Broodlord, uh, which is a four mana and X, 
Ravenous Tyranid, uh, who enters with X plus one plus one counters, making X equals seven. And then he also reads, when he enters the battlefield, I distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of other target creatures I control. So these seven plus one plus one counters are now going anywhere I want, and they'll all go on this Gerson Starn. Also, X was five or greater, seven is greater than five, so I'm gonna draw a card. For now, it's time to head into the slightly blue zone <laughs> with both of my creatures. Now, since Toffle didn't agree to my deal... All right, this is going to Toffle, and this is going to Carl. Just don't wipe the I board. I regret my words. Now I don't have to wipe the board because you said you wouldn't attack me. Did I? I, I, I didn't I, kill you. I said I wouldn't kill you. Yeah, I think I heard that pretty clearly. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I uh, will block with the Prismaris Eliminator, the creature that attacks me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Carl, you take 10. I go to 11. I didn't even deal you any commander damage. See, I'm really nice. And then last but not least, I'm gonna, I, I feel like Toffel is, oh no, Felicia. You're wiping the board, right? <laughs> I, d I don't know how I feel anymore. <laughs> I, I, I had 11 more life points when I made that decision. True. I'll make you make that call depending on Felicia's board state because I'm gonna Hellbreach, which makes me destroy target artifact and target enchantment. I'll pick that enchantment mm. and that artifact. Wow. Aggressive. I like it. Thank you. I must say, it was a really nice turn. <laughs> I well, agree. now you don't get your yeah. Then again, you got off very well during that turn. That's why I think it's a nice turn. Also, just like very aesthetically pleasing. You get your creatures back, my Zaga died. Oh, oh, it's only for that duration. Yeah. If I had known that, I would be even more enthusiastic about that whole breach. Okay. Probably killed him. I, well, I didn't know, I, I would, you know. I'm sorry. Reading the card. Reading of the card explains okay. the card. It's okay, I will. Awesome! You, can, yeah. you can't. Why not? Because we have a deal. I said one turn. This is your turn. No, that was the turn before. No. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I could just wipe out Toralp here. Why did I make that pack? All that for a 4-4? Four, four? Okay, gonna, I'm gonna uh, I'll wipe the board. Uh, but not when I see the board. I mean, like, the board will like it. Um, I'm gonna play a Hour of Reckoning, oh. which attacking my Thunderbolt Cavalry, which uh, destroys all non-token creatures. Oh. Oh. If you're not a token, you're out of here. All these leave. My commander goes to the command zone, but just... I draw four cards. Yes. One, You're two, welcome. three, four. And now, yeah, man, I mean, I wasn't going to. I feel like invoking your ire is a bad idea, but I made a pact with Tal, and it'll haunt me this turn. I'll hit you in the up in the face of four. Mm-hmm. Mm. You're, oh, you no. currently have the highest life total. I'll pass the turn to you, Tal. Now we kind of reap what we've sown because we did damage to everybody and we had a good start, so people still think I'm a threat, but I'm actually not that strong. My cards are really awkward here and I have to play creatures to survive. But on the other hand, I mean, we're just gonna try to set up a board state and maybe we get into some cascading action again. I will play a mountain for a turn and then I will tap three to play the Herald of Salesh. Salesh? Slanesh. Slanesh. <laughs> of course. The Herald of Slanish. Slanish. And it's a 2-2. All my demons cost two less to cast, and other demons have haste. I really like how my uh, commander is just everything, but not what I need it to be. So, but that's A fun. demon? Yeah, a demon or a Primarch for whatever reason. We go to Primarch and buy ourselves a Magnus the Red. Primarch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is a 4 5 flyer. Now has haste because of my Herald. Mm. Um, instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less for each creature you control. Creature token, sorry, creature token. And whenever it gets combat stamina to a player, I create a 3 3 spawn creature. And since it has haste, it can attack. And it will attack a Jamon. Why me? Because your name was the funniest to mispronounce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Lucky us here. <laughs> so you go to 17. And I will get a 3-3 three, three spawn creature token. Pretty Taps. impressive turn. Thank you. And it's your turn. I will untap. And I'll drop a turn. I'll play a swamp. I will cast an unstable obelisk. Okay. Mm -hmm. What does it do? It taps for mana, but it also, for seven mana and sacrificing it, it can destroy a permanent. Any, any permanent. permanent. Any permanent, but it 
No worries. So don't worry about that. I will pay five mana and I'll sacrifice Tomb Fortress. Uh, first of all, I get to mill four cards, and then I can return a creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. What? That's relevant. That is that a last very good word man. changed everything. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good card. Yeah. So I mill four, um, which are a bunch of swamps and a Chronomancer. So many mancers. So many mancers. Talk about mancers. Let's get let's get that technomancer back. Oh. All right. What comes out of the dark room? Um. Exactly. That's the spirit. I will reanimate both the chronomancer and Emotech the Stormlord. Emotech. So it's a technomancer. It's Emotech. It's. It's quite the party going on here. Honestly, I feel really at home on this board. And then I will crew the night scythe with one of my with one of my tokens and I'll go to combat. Let me tell you, if you attack Tuffle, your chances of winning this game rise quite a bit. I had the same thought. So funny. <laughs> oh, well. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you for five. Yeah, that works. So you go down to seven? I am at seven. Lovely. My problem is I don't have a lot of life, but I also have the great unclean one, which makes them lose life. So they're inclined to kill me because I cannot stop it from doing. Even though I don't want to attack and I just want to defend and build up, they don't like me because they're losing life and it's causing a real problem for me as well. I feel like there's something big coming over there, but from a man who is happy that the board was wiped and he lost all his creatures, <laughs> I am very <laughs> suspicious. Oh, what's the worst that can happen? I'll untap. Uh, my turn actually turns out to be, it turns out to be less scary than I thought it would. I'll just play a forest and then cast Old One-Eye. Ooh, that's a classic one. Mm. You say that about I... every card, Carl. Yeah, okay, <laughs> well, they, they made this well. Well, I do get a 5-5 five, five green Tyranid token, which I have right here. And as it is fast healing, at the beginning of my pre-combat main phase, I may discard two cards. And if I do, I return Old One-Eye from my graveyard to my hand. Pretty fast? Yeah. Extremely fast healing. And also everything has trample. Oh yeah, also other creatures I control have trample and he himself has trample. He's pretty old, he's pretty one-eyed and Naturally. This is that just translates to trample. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's Carl's turn. J sorry, just a moment here. I've I sorry, I completely forgot. When I play when I played this, I should have milled three cards. Is it okay if go, I just go for it. three cards now? Be careful not to mill yourself to death, but sure, yeah, go ahead. Were they any good? Yeah, those are those are cards. Well, I mean, you they don't seem to do something from the graveyard, but those are certainly cards. I'm gonna draw. It's not a miracle card. I have a Reaver Titan in my hand, and I really want to cast it, but I'm really afraid everyone's just gonna pile up on me. I'm at, I'm in a tough spot because there's two cards I want to play, and either of them could potentially make me a target. Do it, do it. I have a pact to offer, but I don't have anything to offer in exchange. It's just it's a pity pact. <laughs> Can you guys not kill me this turn? Uh, yes, I can. I can totally not kill you. Oh, see, I, I've got Necrons on my shirt. Why would you even? Yeah, kill me? of course. Yeah. Um, what, what do you? What, what do I get? Nothing. <laughs> like just, I, I just, just, it's just nothing. I don't know. If ever I get to a point where I'm able to kill anyone, I'll kill you. Oh, yeah, you know, whatever that happens. Happen okay, yeah, let's do that. Oh, that was a nice moment. Let's not ruin it by realizing that Felicia just pities me. Um, I'm just gonna kill. Uh, kill. I'm gonna <laughs> cast a. Re no, don't, that's not ominous. I'm gonna cast a Reaver Titan. Um, it's a 10 10. It has protection from mountain value three or less. And whenever he attacks, uh, it deals five damage to each opponent. <laughs> what? Oh <laughs> my lord. Wild. Crew four for a 10 10 vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> and it really doesn't care about small things. Ah, from it's not even a creature. Um, no, it's a vehicle. Mm. I'm going to pass the turn to Todd. Wait, five? Five is a lot. Five is a lot. Mm -mm. When you're at seven, five is a lot. Now we kind of build up to a point where I can now play a creature and make a big haymaker and cascade. I still have the lowest life total and I don't expect to win, but maybe we can cascade into something that wipes the board or gives me some life back and then we are back into the game. I will play... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we gave you the right deck. This is perfect. I will play a Sloppity by a Piper. Sl <laughs> Actually, you'll probably pronounce that Sloppity? Line. Um, for two sacrifice a creature, the next creature spell you cast this turn has Cascade. And I will use it right away. You but why? Happen. Yes, it has haste because it's a demon. Ah. And I will sacrifice my spawn. And then I play a Keeper of Secrets for six. But why? Because it's a demon and it costs two less. 
Great stuff. So it costs six, but we don't worry about it because it doesn't do anything. But we can skate into the Tallyman of Nurgle. At the beginning of your end state, if a creature died this turn, oh, it did. Uh, you draw a card and lose one life. If seven or more creatures died this turn, instead you draw seven cards and lose seven life. Ooh, <laughs> I <laughs> love how the enthusiasm <laughs> dropped off. <up>. You <laughs> draw <laughs> seven <laughs> cards and you draw oh, <laughs> seven life. What was the life total again? Uh, I am at seven. Okay, so wait, so how do, we, how do we get this to trigger? It, <laughs> if seven or more creatures died this turn. One already died, right? One Don't make six creatures die in this deep, because this would be the perfect Kevin, if I attack you with five creatures, will you block with two? Uh, no, we need two more creatures to oh, die. Oh, it's beginning of his end step. Ah. Uh, Can you, like, at instant speed, wipe his board? Wait, why is it my board? Because if you would instant speed wipe his board... Oh, like, right now? Yeah. You know what? I wouldn't even be mad. Could you please not all of you uh, collaborate on killing me? It would be hilarious. It triggers only on your end step, right? Uh, in my instant... We still have a bunch of time. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So, since that leaves me with nothing but attackers, Magnus Duret will attack Carl the Silly. That's my new name? I'll yes. take it. It's appropriate. And the Keeper of Silence will attack Jamon. Would you like to reconsider your attacks? Uh, you your, your creatures won't die. My creatures won't die. Yeah. I am dying anyway. Like, what do you mean? Do you have removal? I guess you I don't have any spells. Felicia, do you have I, removal? I have removal. What do you need? Removal. Okay, we can <laughs> we can have a hilarious TOEFL moment. No, wait. This is not the one I find hilarious. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, wait. I'm uh, revoking my instant attack. Nobody can do anything. Um, well, what are you proposing? I could propose TOEFL to draw seven cards. Does that wait. sound good? You would love that, right? Wait, what was your life total again, TOEFL? Does that make you a little seven life? <laughs> that would be so funny. So I'll, I'll double block with my six six one eye and my five five target token. Which orders do these? Would these receive damage in Toffle? Uh This one takes damage first. All right. So and you take four damage. Oh, so something <laughs> does happen. <laughs> I go to seven. Also, I will gain a spawn. Yeah. My spawn. Mm -hmm. I hit Carl. The spawn. Anyways, uh, your Keeper of Secrets still dies. Yes. How many creatures died? Five. Three. Three died. Three died. Anyways, I guess, uh, is anything going on during your second main phase? Oh no. End of turn? End of your, uh, during your second main phase, I'll, I'll deal two damage to all creatures. Two. Oh, so many creatures die here, that's really unfortunate. Mm. That's indeed quite... That feels like more than seven. Yeah, but yeah. we need to count that. Uh, yeah. Count that. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you have any triggers at the beginning of your end step, Tuffle? <laughs> Tuffle, do you? It is your turn. <laughs> at the beginning of your end step, if a creature died this turn, you draw a card and lose one life. Pretty good. If seven more creatures died this turn, instead you may draw seven cards. <gasps> I'm sorry, did I read not May? Mm. Okay, no, I'm kidding. I have to. Alright, go ahead, draw seven. One, two, three. I, ding, 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 I ding, actually ding, draw ding, seven ding. cards before I die. Oh, they're all great. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> if you just now all agree to a draw, I think I'm not going to draw. Alright, is dead. One down. Three so down. it's my turn. It's now. your turn, Felicia. I'm just going to wait until your board is clear again. <laughs> Just shove it under right. the bed. 50% for the video, 50% for my person satisfaction. <laughs> Don't forget your commander. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm dying, I want to draw like this. I want to draw seven cards. Like the tombstones reads like, Drew while drawing seven cards. Perfect life. I don't regret anything. All right, I'll go to my turn. Yes. I'll untap and see what I can find here. So even though my board looks kind of empty here, I still have the Hexmark Destroyer in my graveyard, and I also still have the Tomb Blade in my graveyard. Two unearthed creatures that can swing out of nowhere and maybe help me put this game away. Especially since I have this Gopher the Throat in my hand, there might be a chance of me stealing this game somehow. I mean, you, Felicia, you can't attack me this turn. We have attack. I have the shirt. Actually, it's really not a time to make 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 deals. If I, if, if I kill Yami, I can't really ask you to not kill me back. Well, in your favor, I have a Titan, but I. I don't have anything that can okay. prove it right now. He's got a 10 10. Okay, no, I theoretically, it's Schrodinger's 10 10. I don't have anything <laughs> to crew it. <laughs> Schrodinger's 10 10. I've got a 5 5. <laughs> Who's scarier? The definite <laughs> 5 5. She's at 15. I, I could also just kill you. Uh, 
I mean, packed. He's got a tent. No, once again, I have nothing to crew this tent. Can I read this card? Yes, of course. Do Don't it. let him lull you into his physics kind of, oh, it's Schrodinger's tent. Like, sometimes it happens up. No, it's a tent. Just really afraid that this thing will just kill me. So my commander only crews for three. Yeah, it doesn't give um, itself plus it one It doesn't plus give zero. itself plus one plus zero. And I can promise you, I do not have anything in my hand that can crew this. So it's all up to the miracle on top of my library. No, that, that, that's not a reason. He'll just draw well. Um, I'm, uh, I'm just <laughs> yeah, gonna find out. Have you ever played against me? I do not draw well. Don't do this to me. I, we shared the Toffle moment. Kill Jay. You know who else it's shared the Toffle moment? Toffle, and he's dead. Yes, and it was hilarious. <laughs> we would do it again. Yeah, I'm going to cast a Scorpec Lord. So he gives my other artifact creatures plus one and gives them menace. And now I don't really have enough power. If only I had more things to unearth here. I'm going to unearth the Hexmark Destroyer. That sounds dangerous. Yeah. He's got Destroyer in his oh, name. Oh no. He's got Hex in his name. Which doesn't really. <laughs> it's <laughs> less than <laughs> the Hexing Inf as Destroyer. And then, uh, also since an artifact uh, leaves my graveyard, I get to. Um, I create two creatures, which are not tapped. Oh, that's good. Upgrade. Yeah. So then I will use those two twos to block my night side. I'll tap one of those. Yeah. So it's not a creature. Yeah. So now this would be 7 plus 4 plus 4. Which would be 15. That, yeah. But at the beginning of combat, I have another uh, trigger by Emotech oh. that will give me Night Sight plus 2 plus 2. So, anyway, this attack goes to Carl? Maybe you can split it up? No. <laughs> Do they all fly? Are they in uh, They have menace. They all have menace. Mm -hmm. They might turn and just block for 2 or something. I should have kept the Star Storm around. As it stands, I'm dead. Bye bye. I should never have listened to you. <laughs> I should have saved that star storm like I intended to for your attack. It would have been hilarious. <laughs> we would have all had a great time. Uh, but no, no, we, uh, we, I have a great time. <laughs> yeah, you're having a great time. She I'm takes dead. 17. 17. Oh, you're at zero on exactly. Yeah, Perfect. back to back. Beautiful. And at the end, this is exiled. And now it's really just up to your top deck. So nothing you have can block this. This is gone. So is this. Bye bye. Uh, bye mm -hmm. bye. So it's really if I have a card on the top of my library that can crew. Come on. The Reaver Titan. All right. I guess we have to. We have to see what's on top there. All right, Felicia. It's. I think I have a lot of creatures in my deck, but it needs to have four power. Okay. Yeah. I'm rooting for Felicia here. Uh, no, I'm actually, she killed me. No, I'm rooting for Carl. I'm uh, rooting for can Felicia. I fl can I flip it? You can flip it. <laughs> Felicia's rooting for Felicia. I'm absolutely oh, rooting for myself here. Um, so you need something that is crew four. That does not look at no, it as a space marine scout. Two, does, it gain, does it gain plus two or something? And that's the benefit of opponent controls more lands. Planes. You may search a plane. Does a plane help? <laughs> I can get a plane? You can get a plane? It doesn't seem... When it goes to... I mean, it's just a play. I mean, I don't even really well, want to Well, thanks for inviting me. Thanks for inviting me. I'll, I'll the also problem, yeah. play a Knight Paladin. What? Um, <laughs> hoping you don't kill me next turn. It's a 5 minus uh, 6, 6 trample. When it enters the battlefield, I deal 4 damage to each opponent. I only have one. That's you. Yeah, I go to 11. <laughs> go to 11. That's okay. Yemen yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, sees it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's 11. got crew... One. Wait, oh, um, is that how big it is? Felicia? Oh no. My Space Marine Scout is about to go on an adventure. Oh no, that's so the worst. My Space Marine Scout will enter this Night Paladin by crewing it. This is what you get for oh. it. <laughs> and then uh, my Space Marine Scout in a Night Paladin will jump into the Reaver Titan. Oh no. How does that work? Nobody cares. <laughs> Nobody cares, really, because I'm going to go to attacks. I think Felicia cares. <laughs> <laughs> I do kind of care. Um, I'm going to attack you. Um, oh, now, it's protection from mana value 3 or less, and when it attacks, it deals 5 damage to each opponent. That's mm -hmm. it's okay. It hurts at first. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hurts. Do you have anything that can block it? You got it. Good game! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Damn it! <laughs> so I guess I won. 
which is only fitting because I'm the Space Marines. And the Space Marines always win because they'll keep on printing codexes for them. Um, it's what the Emperor would have wanted, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Imagine he woke up and he just got like, Guys, stop fighting! This is ridiculous! Stop hitting yourselves! Violence is wrong! Oh boy, would they have to do a rehaul. Anyways, see you guys next time. <laughs> this is really cool! Worth it.